Where is that going? Oh, no, I know. It was, I know. And I'm going to tell you. I'm Yuri Miller, and I'm going to teach you about the origins of life. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about the origins of life. Super Saiyan differently. I can take you everywhere, places you've not seen, heights you've never been. Gossamer wings, I'll make your heart sing in a transport of delight. I just give an ideal destination, then I'll start a palpitation. After a little exploration, there will be a celebration. You can afford to come on board, I'll take you everywhere. So 
though there's two theories for you where life might have came from. There's other theories, though. It's like space dust. Space dust. Maybe life came from space dust. Have you ever heard of the question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Personally, I think it was a cross between the chicken and the egg. It's called a chegg. Here's a picture. It shoots laser beams out of his eyes, and it can stop a whole army of men with just one stare. Well, in the Origins of Life community, there's a similar question. It's called, what came first, genetics or metabolism? I asked myself the same question not long ago. I was eating lunch with my good friend Gunter Vector's waiter, and he said he was supporting the idea that metabolism came first. And I said, hey, that's a good idea. So I'm a big believer in metabolism coming first. But there's a lot of other people that say the genetics came first, but we still don't know. The holy grail in the Origins of Life community is to find a self-replicating molecular system in a test tube. Will we find it? Who knows? It's only a matter of time before using the top-down approach and the bottom-up approach to find the missing link. Thanks for joining me and my scientific video blog. Stay tuned for next week when I talk about the very controversial subject about the structure of our planet Earth. And we're